Leader of the opposition business in the Senate, Dominic Fede, is complaining over what he claims is the unfair treatment of Sky FM. The mouthpiece of the opposition United Workers' Party has been reportedly operated without a broadcast license. The new board of the National Telecommunications Regulatory Commission, which is taking a closer look at the sector, has been reportedly tasked with, among other things, to work expeditiously to bring closure to the matter regarding the operations of Sky FM. This was outlined in a press release issued on February 16th regarding a meeting between the board and the Minister for Telecommunications. Fede hints at attempts to derail efforts to regularize the radio station's status. I am not sure what is meant by the Sky matter. Has the minister now, um, is he still in the war path? Is he still of the opinion that Sky FM should be closed? Or is it now that the minister is going to use his good offices to ensure that the smooth transition, which was already in train for many years, uh, can now take place and be completed so that we can regularize this rather important issue. Eastern Caribbean Telecommunications Authority has recommended a termination of the use of the frequency spectrum which was assigned to Kairi FM but currently utilized by Sky FM. Telecom's Minister Stevenson King had stated that both entities are not authorized to broadcast on these frequencies. But now Fede claims there was an initial proposed transition arrangement under the former NTRC board that would charge Sky FM retroactively from the date of operation to regularize its status. You would recall all the details that uh, the reason that Sky couldn't get a license is because Cary FM were the legal owners of that license. And so um, everyone at NTRC and Ectel are aware that there is a very um, important transition that's taking place of a radio station that Cary FM sold all of its equipment and assets to uh, the owners of Sky FM. And so, therefore, since the minister has gotten involved, my information is, is that um, some people within Ectel are now uh, perhaps vacillating over uh, the transition. But it should be noted that the former NTRC chair had initial interest in a precursor to what would become Sky FM raising questions of a possible conflict of interest. But nevertheless, Fede, echoing the sentiments of UWP media commentators, is claiming victimization and attacks on freedom of speech. It's tyranny. It's, it's undemocratic. And so rather than allow the media to flourish and rather than to allow for an enabling environment, I, I sincerely hope that this is going to be the tone and it is not going to be a tone where we see a particular station being victimized because it is of a, a different political view or because its narrative does not support that of the government. I think that this would go against the um, very sacred provisions in our constitution, the supreme law of our land, and I think that we will have to observe and see what happens in the next few weeks uh, with this development. Regulatory agencies and government officials have stated that there is no documentary evidence of the paperwork substantiating a broadcast license for Sky FM. But Fede alleges that the issue of Sky FM is not unusual in St. Lucia. There are many stations that have been operating for years in St. Lucia and they're still transitioning. In fact, if you look at the clauses within the license, many stations in St. Lucia have actually violated those clauses. Um, some of them owe government NTRC outstanding amounts, as much as over $400,000 in some cases. And so to have a targeted, a very unique set of circumstances for Sky FM, I believe that this is um, very, very sad, very unfortunate. Officials for their part insist that this is not an attack on democratic norms, but an attempt to ensure the rule of law, alleging that Sky FM does not have the legal permission and authorization to broadcast on the local airwaves. But I promise you, they'd have to come here with security, security apparatus to remove us off this air. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.